Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your new moon reading. The new moon will be in Scorpio. So more information about what to expect with this new moon in Scorpio can be found at the end of your reading. So just let your reading play and you'll be able to get more information as it pertains to that. But first and foremost, I always begin the readings by saying thank you, thank you, thank you for your love and support that you continue to give to the channel. I read all of the comments and thank you for being so supportive. Um, I have completed your Twin Flame Soulmate readings for November and your general readings for November. So make sure you check that out. And you guys, don't forget to check out our weekly Twin Flame and weekly Love Energy messages. I mean, it really will get your week started, right? So make sure you check that out. Now, just a little bit about this reading. Um, this is just a mini reading. Let me say that again. It is just a mini reading for you to begin to set your intentions. Now, if you don't know how to set your intentions, the link below can be found on how to set your intentions for the new moon. Now, what you're going to hear today, it may be something that's happening right now. Could have been something that happened a few months ago. Could be something that's going to be happening in the near future. So keep that in mind. You can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. And, oh, hello to our cross watchers. And keep in mind that these energies will flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it could be re relate to your partner. You even could be picking up on the energy that is surrounding you or a situation that is surrounding you. So keep that in mind, okay? Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. You guys, please subscribe to the channel. That helps us so much. And hit the like button, okay? Um, if it's not resonating with you, but you feel like it would be a beneficial reading for someone else, still give us a thumbs up because it helps push these readings out a little further. Um, and also, if uh, right next to the uh, subscribe button is a little bell. If you hit that bell, every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Keep in mind, we have private readings, okay? We have extended readings, and if you're a member of our Patreon, you get all of the extendeds, all of the weekly energies for a low amount of $5.55 per month, and it is well worth it, okay? All right, now, on to your reading. Hello, my Capricorns. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. Just do keep in mind, this is a mini reading, okay? Just enough information to give you so you can set your intention. So let's just see what is going on. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on November 15th, 2020. <coughs> what messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn? Okay, there's one. Flipper. All right. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universal Messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on November 15, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn? Spirit, divine, prayer, and the universe with messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on November 15th, 2020. Okay. Holy Spirit, divine, prayer, the universe with messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on. Okay, Holy Spirit, 
Spirit to find the creator of the universe with messages through the four for the sign of Capricorn. As they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on November 15th, 2020. Ooh, right there, Capricorns. Okay. You see, I know exactly where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. First message out, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This is like the Hierophant in Tarot. So this could be a re in reference to a marriage. Mm. Could be um, a spiritual awakening, okay, that is uh, occurring. And somebody's realized that somebody was worth waiting for, divine time, and is that work in your love life? <clears throat> so something with the religious basis, but somebody spiritually is realizing that, you know, I, I waited or I'm going to wait for spirit to direct me on where I need to go with my love life. So that can be, that can resonate a couple different ways. Simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flow of activities. So important. You have no idea how much clutter can really get you discombobulated, get you very in a confused state. Okay, spirit is really wanting to talk to you. This is a very spiritual reading because music for manifesting, this is a spiritual card to manifest rapidly. Think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. This is spirit saying, I want you to quiet your spirit down. So and I so I can begin to speak to you. And, a, and music does that for us. Okay. Um, spirit is trying to give you direction and that's why you're needing to simplify your life. You're needing to remove, remove all of the clutter because here, starting off with religious factors, there's something going on spiritually here that you're going to really uh, need to allow to, um, unfold naturally. Sense of humor. Generally when a sense of humor card comes out, that means we're a little stressed. We're a little uptight and spirit is reminding you, um, to laugh. Okay. And to enjoy life. Um, affirmations, yeah, to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire. Use positive affirmations. Another spiritual card, you know, speaking to yourself, speaking into your spirit. See, and she's actually sitting on a new moon. Wow. It's my first time even realizing that. You really need to take this new moon energy and go deep within to get clarity and understanding deep within and now is the perfect timing to do that oh my goodness i mean you can't make this up wow listen oh my goodness listen to your intuition i told you you can't make this you just cannot make this up oh okay this this reading gave me chills uh capricorn uh, but if you guys want to do a private reading information pertaining to that can be found below until next time bye bye all right, you guys here, we are here for a little information about this new moon in Scorpio. Oh my goodness, it's Scorpio season. In addition to Pluto going direct, I am so happy Mars went back direct. It was in retrograde in Aries and it went back direct starting um, from this past Friday. And oh my goodness, 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 goodness. We're starting to feel a little bit relief, okay? But this new moon in Scorpio, it knows about the skeletons in your closet. Uh, matters that are going to come to light will be of a very personal nature um, during this new moon. So in the last few weeks, you know, we haven't even been given a chance to think. I mean, let alone check in with our own selves. You know, November's new moon uh, will be a chance to just finally, finally, finally just be able to take a breather. Um, though it might not be, you know, altogether relaxing per se, um, but we will be able to just kind of slow things down just a little bit. Um, this Sunday, November 15th, we'll see the new moon is going to arrive in Scorpio. Um, the secretive slinky sign that enjoys its privacy more than most, okay? So for a lunar sign that already rewards those like who embrace the peace and quiet of a darkened, seemingly moonless night, um, this month's new moon would be particularly fruitful for those of us who are willing to sit with ourselves and our thoughts and, you know, simply just, you know, see what comes to the surface. Really, really go uh, deep within to really figure out and understand what's there. 
So the sign of Scorpio, it, you know, it's interesting. Uh, it's, it's not perplexing. It's not a perplexing one, but it's very interesting. And it's ruled by the element of water. So it feels very deeply, but unlike its fellow water signs that we know to be Pisces and Cancer, um, it's much more comfortable uh, keeping those emotions close to the vest uh, rather than expressing them outwardly. Okay, um, so people born under this sign, they're most likely to plumb the depths of their psyches and private than they are to speak their minds to anyone who asks. You know, they see secrets and truth as currency only worth spending on those who are truly worth it. And so uh, with that being said, uh, this is more often than not means they really only talk and deal with their true emotions with themselves. They rarely uh, will share that with uh, anyone else. So it's a rare moment of cosmic coordination then for such a reserve sign to play host to the most reserved lunar phase in the moon cycle, the new moon. So on the night of the 15th, um, their combined energies will turn our thoughts inward, okay, uh, toward the darkest, less visited corners of our minds. Um, you may become keenly aware of an old memory you thought had faded years ago, or you could gain a long overdue understanding of what drove your reactions in the wake of a distant conflict or a major uh, life change. So feelings that were dormant, they will awake. Old lessons you learn will take on new uh, uh, immediacy and past wounds could reopen. Okay, there's nothing to say as to whether these discoveries will be good or bad. You know, they will simply be. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but this is a time for you to have a breakthrough. Okay, um, you're going to have a breakthrough. You're going to, you may feel compelled to shout it from the rooftops, you know, that you're starting to feel free. Um, but to share your newfound clarity with the rest of the world, even your closest confidants, might not be so wise. Um, because Scorpio is a secretive sign, okay? And the new moon favors this, this quietness over celebration. Um, so keeping quiet is a good space right now. And, um, and again, breaking with those influences and spilling the beans too soon could have unforeseen repercussions. So you want to make sure that you, um, those things that you do begin to have clarity on and you do want to share with somebody else, you know, really think that through because uh, it may not be the, the right time to do that. Okay. So um, this could be a time that, um, you know, you might want to think about an upcoming decision that's coming for that you might want to keep to yourself um this could be a time that you want to think about you know amending a uh, a relationship or a brokenness with someone but this is should be something that you keep to yourself right now okay um this could be a time that you think about a new sense of direction or a passion that you're interested in only time spent alone will help you dig deep but this is information again you need to keep to yourself Okay. All right, my loves. Um, if you want to do a private reading, always keep this in mind. Information pertaining to that can be found below. And don't forget to join our Patreon. That link is found below as well. Until next time. Bye-bye.